hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using JavaScript how to get the selected data list value now I'm selecting blue so here we got the, the selected value of the data list is blue if I select green see here we got the green if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates i'm using notepad plus plus for this video tutorial notice in this notepad plus plus contains a simple html code with some header tags h1 h2 and a horizontal line and after the horizontal line i'm adding the data list control data list ID is equals to colors. I'm closing the data list element. Inside this data list element, I'm adding option value is equals to red color option. Alright. Let's add some more options here. Blue, black, gray, green, green. After adding some values into this data list, let's bind this data list into text box control input type is equals to text id is equals to get colors is a text box id and i am adding the list property in this list property i am adding the data list id which is colors let's close the input text box control that's it we have added the data list items into this input text box control let's save this file now before adding the javascript functionality to get the selected data list value let's check the output on the browser and here we got the output of that code which contains the header tags horizontal line and one data list control which contains some values red blue black if i type b blue and black now let's add the javascript functionality if i select any items of the data list control i want to display that selected item in the browser switch back to the notepad plus plus now after the data list control i'm adding span tag id is equals to span result i'm closing the span tag this span tag is to display the selected value from the data list control after that i'm adding script i'm closing the script tag inside the script i'm adding the javascript functionality i'm declaring a variable get value is equals to document dot get elements by name between single quotes i'm adding the input type instead of id let's add name here get colors copy this one and paste here add a zero semicolon after that i'm adding the add event listener function to get the selected list value get value dot add event listener this event listener takes two parameters the first one is a event which is an input comma the second parameter is a function now in this function i am adding the selector option from this data list i want to display this span result document dot get element by id between double quotes i am adding 
the span ID result, span result, comma, dot inner HTML is equals to the selected value of the data list is plus this dot value that's it we have added the javascript functionality to get the selected data list value into this span tag save the file we'll check the final output i'm reloading the browser now i'm selecting blue so here we got that the selected value of the data list is blue if i select green see here we got the green that's it